Okay, I'm gonna explain you how to do circular breathing. First of all, you have to understand that the air in your cheeks is a reserve. It has nothing to do with your breathing. So you fill your cheeks with air and you can breathe in and out through your nose. Once you've mastered this step, you go to step two. Step two is learning how to squeeze. When you were five years old, you did it all day long. You were squeezing from your cheeks. That's squeezing. So if you combine step one and two together, you get this. You're breathing in and out through your nose. And step two, squeezing. Hey, now there's air going in your nose while you're squeezing the air out of your cheeks. Then there's step three that's blowing the air out. So if you combine step one, two and three together, you get this. So you squeeze the air from your cheeks while you sniff air in through your nose and then you blow the air out. I'll repeat that one more time. You squeeze the air out of your cheeks while you sniff air in through your nose and then you blow the air out. Then you come to the point that there is the gap, the phenomenal gap. Every didgeridoo player will find out what the gap is when they're trying to learn circular breathing. It's when the sound stops while you play. You can only get rid of this gap by holding the second sound a little bit longer and doing what you're doing 10 times quicker. So when you do this, and you speed it up, then you get circular breathing. Your gap will disappear and get smaller. So then you're going to even faster. Now I'll show you on the video we do. Notice the farting sound. That's not correct, but the farting sound will change into a basic drone when your lip vibration is a little bit smoother. So when you com continually practice this, you automatically find out the right frequency for your lips for that weird sound. <laughs> circular breathing uh, exercise where everybody was asking for it so um, I hope you get a hang of it just remember squeeze the air out of your cheeks <laughs> sniff air in through your nose at the same time <laughs> and blow the air out <laughs> it's not so hard just do it. You can use a straw and a glass of water, try to blow bubbles continuously, or hold your hand in front of your mouth and feel the airflow. It's the same principle as with the bagpipe, you know, they squeeze in the bag, we squeeze in our cheeks. And of course, then you have a tongue breathing. Uh, jaw breathing, you can breathe through the diaphragm, your belly, muscles in your back you're gonna use, but that's all advanced techniques. First try to get the easy way done. Good luck with it. <laughs>